just a quick revisiting of this circuit board holder. In that last video, um, it kind of didn't work out very well. I mean, it worked okay for low height components. Where'd that board go? Um, this on this thing so it, it worked out okay for low height components but the capacitors were too tall um, and once I got the the LEDs on there it just it couldn't clamp in there at all and the capacitors were too tall as well but you could sort of work around that because they don't go down the middle of the board so you can sort of space around it but the LEDs crash into the beam and yeah so, for stuff with low, compo low level components or low height components like ICs and potentiometers and resistors and and as long as there's room for the capacitors, you're fine. But once you start putting stuff down the middle of the board, no. Plus, as you see, it kind of fell apart. This guy is supposed to be jammed in there, um, but the spring pressure kept pulling it apart. So, what I'm going to do today is see if I can repair this. So I'm just going to... Put a gob of uh, epoxy in there, and I think I will use JB Weld, just because well, I have it. Um, I actually did a comparison of epoxies several months back, uh, if you want to go and take a look, see on that. This stuff was one of the two hardest ones that I, that I had, but this particular formulation of JB Weld takes a good 24 hours. I've also got a five minute version of JB Weld but uh, I'm in no rush for this thing and I'll just let it set up. So I'll just get on with it I guess. Like any two-part epoxy you just squeeze out equal amounts and that's already way too much. But now I gotta put out a similar size blob of that. Let's mix them up with a stick. These are coffee stirrers from the dollar store. Real cheap. And it's it's gonna be disposed of anyways after this job, so why use something expensive? And actually if I wanted to be really cheap and or frugal, I could just let it harden, cut the gooped part off, and use it again the next time I need to do this, right? Smear some in there. A little bit more on the end and the bottom. This doesn't need to be perfect or pretty. But shove that in there. No, and I think I'm gonna push it in a little bit harder. That should be good. So I got a little bit of epoxy on the end of that thing, so I'll just kind of clean that off with a toothpick so it doesn't glue itself in place. That would suck. And I'll just leave that guy to harden up. The following day. And let's see here. Okay, so that didn't glue itself down, that's good. But that seems to be fixed in place. And obviously the epoxy has hardened, that's good. So, where'd my board go? Oh, as I said, I can't clamp it in the other way up, so I'll clamp it in this way up. That seems to be holding, that's nice. And, oh yeah, so this lets you adjust it for a smaller board. If you wanna put a smaller board on there, let's see if I got something smaller. How about that? Yeah, so you can adjust it down to hold a smaller board. And that's neat. But, uh, so I've I've done a bit of, a uh, bit more looking around. And I've come to realize that these actually aren't designed for through-hole boards anyway. They're more designed for soldering surface mount boards. Like this surface mount practice board here. I actually spread those. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. I need a 
slight miscalculation here. There's something to actually glued that onto there. There's something to pry it loose. There we go. That's not so bad. And if that glue works that well in there, that'll be awesome. So I'll just spread these out and yeah. You can spread those out so that they don't impact any of the components. And there you go. Now, yeah, that's that's quite reasonable for a surface mount board. You don't need the clearance underneath, obviously. Okay. So I think that will work. And I've got another surface mount practice board here. I'm not going to mess with it right now. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So that's, that's that dealt with. Again, this was just a quick follow up to the previous video just getting this thing ready um anyone's got any experience with using these uh these things um or any questions or comments or anything else uh please as always down in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you and chat with you if you've got something to talk about any other comments sure absolutely thank you for watching i will talk to you later